Hello. Do you like stories? My name's Timothy Knappman. I'm an author. I write stories. This is the room I write my stories in. As you can see, it's a complete tip. Anyway, today I'm going to read you a story. Um, this is not just a story about dinosaurs. Hands up who likes stories about dinosaurs. It's also a story about trains. Hands up who likes stories about trains. Exactly. So let's hope we have a lot of fun with this book that I wrote called All Aboard the Dinosaur Express. There it is. As you can see, I wrote it. There's my name. Hooray. And there is the name of Ed Eaves, who did the pictures. I'll try and show you as many, many of Ed's brilliant pictures as I can as we go along. Anyway, here we are. All Aboard the Dinosaur Express. It goes like this. We're crowding on the platform, waiting for our train. We try to catch a glimpse of it. We stretch and squeeze and strain. Can you see all the little dinosaurs all looking forward to the train arriving so they can go on their day out? A young Triceratops is first to see the cloud of steam. The Dinosaur Express is coming! Everybody screams! The engine's like a T-Rex head. The carriages have scales. Can you see this fantastic picture that Ed's done of the Dinosaur Express? What an amazing train. Hands up who'd like to take a trip on this train. Yeah, me too. The engine's like a T-Rex head. The carriages have scales. It's faster than a pterosaur. It flies along the rails. The Stegosaurus station master blows his whistle. Yes! All aboard! All aboard! The Dinosaur Express! Like a pterodactyl's wings, the doors flap open wide. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Like a pterodactyl's wings, the doors flap open wide. Whoopee! we cry, and eagerly we run to get inside. The seats, like Allosaurus paws, are comfy as can be. I get one by the window. There's so much I want to see. The station master waves his flag and calls out, Mind the doors! We hear a mighty hiss. Chug, chug! And then the engine roars. Look at it just about to leave the railway station. And if you look closely, I think you can see the station master waving his flag. We're off! And just like that, our great adventure has begun. Our prehistoric world zooms by, shining in the sun. A kind Ankylosaurus stops her trolley by my seat. Are you having fun, she says. What would you like to eat? Look at her lovely trolley with all that amazing food on it for the journey. A sandwich or a sticky bun? Just ask me and it's yours. These are for the plant eaters and those for carnivores. And who's got room for monster cake? I think that you can guess. There's the monster cake. Can you see it? Oh, I fancy a slice of monster cake myself. And who's got room for monster cake? I think that you can guess. Oh, everything tastes yummy on the Dinosaur Express. Tickets, please, the guard calls out as he comes walking through. Now someone's got a special ticket, maybe one of you. He takes mine and he clips it. I feel wobbly, I feel cold. I'm the lucky dinosaur. Check out that flash of gold. Can you see it? Can you see the secret gold bit of the ticket? There it is. The guard and I walk through the train as all the others cheer. But what treat have I got in store? I've simply no idea. Shall we see? We reach the driver's cabin and it's like a dream come true. It's full of brontosaurus buttons. Can you see the brontosaurus buttons? There you go. There's the amazing driver's cabin. It's full of brontosaurus buttons. What does that one do? The driver says, congratulations. Now let me explain. Your treat is this, young dinosaur. You get to drive the train. My heart thumps like an engine. I'm filled with happiness. I can't believe I'm going to drive the Dinosaur Express. I tra take control and feel the train's great power in my hands. As with a whoosh, we shoot across, can you see, the Spinosaurus sands. We swing round Meteor Corner, climb Jurassic Ridge, flash through Triassic Park, and steam across Cretaceous Bridge. Look at that amazing journey they're taking on that map. Can you see every brilliant place? The driver says, well done, my boy. 
And now let's have some fun. Hold on tight, we're going to start the Great Volcano Run. The train begins to huff and puff as we climb higher and higher, up the first volcano filled with lava, fizz and fire. We reach the top, I shout, let's go, and down we roll like thunder. We zigzag, zigzag round three more volcanoes then, this is the wonder, we loop the loop and upside down. Can you see? Can you see where they're going? We loop the loop and upside down. We fly across the last. We're steaming, roaring, dino soaring, racing super fast. We safely reach the other side. I blow the whistle, tweet, and all too soon it's time for me to go back to my seat. There they are. The driver lets me keep his cap. The guard gives me a flag. With all these toys and souvenirs, there's no room in my bag. Look at all those amazing free toys and souvenirs he's been given after his special treat. We chug back to the station. There are mum and dad. Let me see. Oh, yes. There's mum and dad. Look. There he is being picked up by mum and dad. We chug back to the station and there are mum and dad. I tell them both about the wild adventure I've just had. I drove that mighty engine that looks like a T-Rex head. And I don't finish telling them until it's time for bed. Is that railway station? That's fantastic. I really, really like that picture. And you can see the Dinosaur Express is still in the station. Fantastic. I go to sleep and dream about the job I want to do when I'm a grown-up dinosaur. You want to do it too. I know that if I get a chance, I'll be a great success. I'm going to be the driver of. The Dinosaur Express. There it is, and that is the end of the story. Look, the track goes ever on. But that's the end of the story, and that's the end of our time. I hope you like that story. Bye-bye.